Greetings once again, VAC fans, and welcome to the VAC Lab, where we have over 1,400 videos spread out conveniently into probably 100 plus playlists. So this video is specifically in response to a poll that I posted a couple days ago in which I asked, and we had a lot of respondents, that's great, thank you very much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you had these three things to choose from, airflow, suction, and agitation. Ah, yes, good old agitation. Which one is the most important for the typical, say, bagless or bagged system? Now, I know there's gonna be a couple of oddball exceptions out there if you have, say, a mechanical vacuum. We're not talking about that here, but I have dealt with that uh, some years in the past. So for the typical bagless or bagged system, what's the most important thing? And seven out of 10, slightly more than seven out of 10 of you got it right and said airflow. We'll talk about that toward the end of this video. Let's first go ahead and talk about why suction and agitation are not number one. So how about, uh, well, here, I've got this nice Sanitaire Viber Groomer 2 brush roll here, and boy, it's a nice brush roll. So if you have great agitation, right, whatever appropriate agitation is for your carpet or bare floor, if there's great agitation, what does that do? It literally frees up, right, makes available to the vacuum for pickup your dirt by flicking, scraping, whatever it happens to do, right? And the problem is, what happens after that dirt is freed up? Think about that for a minute. So let's take a look at the third choice, which is suction. Oh, suction. Suction is a pressure, okay? It's a one-dimensional pressure like say inches of water lifted, uh, kilopascals, it's a one dimensional pressure. Is there any movement to that pressure? No. So suction in a negative form, we typically call vacuum, like say removing the molecules, so to speak, the air from a particular volume. If you have a positive pressure, like say a balloon, car tire, something like that, then you can measure how much pressure is literally pushing you know, out on everything rather than trying to you know, suck in on everything. So what happens if suction literally goes to maximum in a vacuum cleaner? What is the condition? It's got a name for it. It's a very simple name. When literally suction goes to maximum, that's right, this right here. Well, you do this, right? And you get a clog. That's right, that's a C word. Suction at maximum, airflow at minimum. So when that happens, nothing's gonna get picked up. So in conclusion, let's talk about the most important aspect of those three, which is the flow of air. That is, how fast is the air moving considering you have a volume of it, you have an amount of it? So what happens is the dirt gets freed, right, to be picked up, maybe through a hose, maybe through a dirty fan because of, say, some type of agitation. Well, how does that air get from your floor into your bin or your bag. That's through the flow of the air itself. The entire idea of a vacuum is to remove the dirt from a volume of air. That's the entire idea. With a cyclonic assembly, stuff will spin around and the weight of the dirt will fall down into the, into the cup, so to speak, into the bin. With a bag system, it will literally eventually go through some type of tube or you know path, whatever it is, and then kind of be deposited in the bag. And then the air that's coming into the machine will be expelled out the bag. 
and hopefully the dirt remains in the bag. So just remember this, people who think that agitation is number one or that <clears throat> suction somehow is number one. Without the flow, there's no place for the dirt to go. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.